Hello everyone, welcome to IoT Frontier. In this video, we'll be talking about how to create a flow in Node-RED. It takes time and effort to create content for you guys. So please support us by liking this video and hitting that subscribe button. Now let's get started. So as last time we have seen in the previous video, this is the Node-RED, we'll be having uh, Node-RED in this uh, local host 1880. This is the port that we'll be running on. And we have here different nodes. So these are different nodes that we can see. Uh, so under storage, we have something parser, sequence. So those will be used in uh, particular scenarios. Right now, we'll just focus on fundamentals and let, try to create a simple flow. So first, uh, the basic thing that, that we can use is inject. So inject will either uh, create a message by uh, if we click on the button or it will also there with the time interval like there would be some triggers based on time interval so if you uh, select this and drag and drop here so you'll be having a button here that is a button if you want to trigger something then it will be triggered by this inject so let's see the settings available on it so if i double click on it i'll see the properties so right now the payload is selected as timestamp there are some other options as well, like you can use string number, boolean, etc. So right now I'll just leave it as it is. Let's see what it will uh, give you the output. So if you want to see the output, then you need a debug node as well. So debug node, if you click on here, so it will show you, it displays the selected message properties in the debug sidebar. So it will by default display the message.payload. So message.payload we have already set here that timestamp. So if you want to see uh, on the right corner, uh, the debug, so that's why you will be able to uh, see the timestamp coming into debug. So I'll use double click on debug and also you can see what is the default output. So it is giving us the complete message object or message.payload. So I have left it as it is. And it is going to output into debug window or system console or node status. So I'll just use debug window and leave it. Now we need to wire them together. So I'll click on in this point and use and leave it here. Now the flow has been created. So if I uh, save it, so for saving this, you need to have this deploy option. So you can click on this deploy. So once that is done, this button got activated. So I'll go to the debug here. So this is the debug window. If I click on here, you can see uh, the message payload is coming. So this is a timestamp actually. And I'll also show you how to convert this timestamp into readable format. So before that, I will try to change the property. So instead of sending the timestamp, I'll send a string and the string of testing. So if I save it again, I need to deploy it. Now, if I click on it, you can see the payload is coming as a string testing. So this is how you can use the basic flow. Now I'll again change back to the timestamp. Okay, so in between what, uh, so as I promised previously, we need to convert this timestamp that we are uh, seeing here as a readable format. So for that, we have a function. So here we have a function. So uh, there are so many nodes, but if you want to write a custom function, then you need to drag and drop this. So I have dragged and dropped here. So I can remove uh, the wiring here. I, I can select this and delete it. And I can also put it like this. So right now you can see timestamp is sending the data to function and function will uh, do some processing and send it to the debug. So function to do the process, we need to uh, write some code into it. You need to double click. So once you double click on it, you need to paste this message. So you need to paste this code. So once you paste this code, so here what we are trying to do is everything is coming under message.payload. So that we are saving it as a dead format. So we here uh, in Node.js, everything is uh, JavaScript. Uh, so whatever the code that we want to write, uh, so whenever here, here also we can see the tab. So whenever a message comes, this code will be executed. And if you want to execute on start, then also there is something on stop. Also, we have something. So in setup you will be having something. So for, for basics, we'll just use the on message. 
which means that whenever a message is triggered and coming to this function node, then you will be able to uh, process this. So I have first converted, typecasted it into a new date object. So that is stored in the date variable. So uh, once that is there in the date variable, I'll just have to convert that again into a string format. So we have this string to string function, which will convert the payload into a date format. So and then finally, we have to use the return statement, return a message. So this MSG will uh, give you the complete message uh, as a payload outside. So now we have done this. So I'll click on done. So I'll do the deploy. So once I've done that, I'll click on the button. So you can see the complete message payload is shown here. It is converted as well. So you can see uh, it was previously 1693 like that in the number complete epoch time. And now you can see the readable date and time format. September, Sep Saturday, September and IST is also mentioned here. Now I will show you one more thing. So as I said previously, we can use the button or we can also use the trigger via time interval. So if you double click on time, uh, this inject node, if you want to inject uh, the repeat this. So if you want to repeat this, you can select the options. So repeat interval between times at a specific time or interval. So I'll use interval and every five seconds, I want to uh, execute this timestamp injection. So I'll click on done and deploy it. Now let's see. So we'll wait for five seconds and you should be able to see new one. Yes, we have seen the new timestamp pasted here and we'll wait one more five seconds. You can see again. So every five seconds based on interval, it is automatically triggering without us to pre press the button. This is how you can create a new uh, flow for the fundamentals understanding of Node-RED. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.